House Republicans will be moving full steam ahead with investigations into President Biden and his son Hunter Biden's business dealings, alleged business dealings in Ukraine and China now that the GOP controls the chamber. This according to Congressman James Comer, incoming chair of the House Oversight Committee. Now, Comer saying this, Republicans will investigate whether President Biden benefited from his son Hunter's foreign business dealings. Here's this moment. We're not investigating Hunter Biden. We're investigating Joe Biden. And I think any American who's kept up with the political process over the past two administrations would agree. We need to know uh, what is allowable and what isn't allowable with respect to uh, foreign adversarial uh, intervention among family members of presidents of the United States. Back with us now, Monday regulars Joe DeGenova, Victoria Tunsing. You know, we've been hearing from Republican lawmakers for years now looking into the foreign be uh, business dealings of Hunter Biden, alleged ties to his father. Is anything going to come from this GOP majority? Of course, of course it is. But I, here's why I'm smiling big, because I'm envisioning a Republican committee subpoenaing the tax records of President Biden and all his family, just as the precedent has been set uh, to subpoena President Trump's tax records. I think the, mm. the Republicans are going to make an effort. I think they're going to be uh, diligent, and we'll see what happens. The president is going to resist. He knows that any investigation of his son in the Justice Department has already been held up. We're going into the fifth year of the Justice Department investigation of Hunter Biden, and we are now headed into a presidential election cycle. This is a disaster for the Department of Justice, which now looks like it is nothing more than an arm of the White House and Joe Biden. Um, I, I think what's going to happen is the president is going to resist the production of any records. He's going to be dilatory. He's going to stretch it out. He's going to do everything he can to delay the Republican investigations, and the Republicans are going to have to be smart. They're going to have to call in witnesses. They're going to have to get the people from the Treasury Department who are refusing to produce the dozens of suspicious transactions reports involving members of the Biden family. Those are notices that banks must send when they have foreign transactions that are very, very suspicious. And there are hundreds of them involving the Biden family. So we shall see. There's plenty to get at. Mm -hmm. And just to put that in perspective, uh, most of us have never had one suspicious transaction report issued against us. This is a, uh, so unusual to have hundreds of such reports. And it has always been the case that the Treasury Department has turned those over to Congress, and they have now refused to do so under the Democratic administration. The other question is this. Let's put aside the outcome of the investigation, which you rightfully pointed out, could be pushed and pushed and pushed and delayed. Um, but let's talk about the court of public opinion again. In, in 2024, you're, the president has right now, at least from his comms department, said, hey, we are planning on running and continuing mm -hmm. on for a second term. Now, back in 2020, this story was suppressed. This is public knowledge at this point. It's not suppressed anymore. Does this play, aside from the outcome of the investigation in the House, the American people are going to be able to read about this, and they're going to be able to see what is happening or how, where this investigation is going. Does that play a role in the president potentially running for a second term or for the well, American vote? I, I don't think it's going to affect his decision to run one way or the other. You have to understand that Joe Biden is now at the point given his age and basically his infirmities, that he is at his utmost arrogance, stunning, stunning arrogance. Uh, he doesn't care. He thinks he can go over the head of the Republicans, that the media will protect him and his family because they've done so since the 2020 election and continue to do so. And as long as Janet Yellen is the secretary of the Treasury and refuses to produce documents, unless she's held in contempt, uh, this is going to drag out for a long time. And remember, the media protects the Bidens. Yes, Sean, I'm, I just have to respectfully disagree with you. It is still being suppressed. How much time has ABC, CBS, NBC spent on this? I haven't <laughs> seen it on the front pages of the Washington Post and New York Times, Fair. which I, I read daily. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still being suppressed. Yeah. The Twitter files also not getting a lot of uh, mainstream media news attention. You'll find it coverage here on Newsmax. But if you're flipping yep. around channels, you just won't see it, quite frankly. Uh, Joe and Victoria, thanks so much for coming on. Appreciate hearing from you as always. Take care. You bet. Thank Bye. you.